Right, the Lisbon Charter fills a gap in the global landscape. We had reference documents on the respective roles of stakeholders in uh, water supply, sanitation services, uh, but none of them explored the specific role of regulatory authorities, those that apply and enforce standards, criteria, uh, regulations uh, that have been decided, either legally or contractually. So this is new. It is a new document that will be a reference document for all uh, uh, people in the water sector. The role of IWA, as the Global Association of Water Professionals, is to take advantage of the experience of its many members to guide policies and action on uh, water and sanitation services. We had to respect the diversity of uh, institutional arrangements. So hopefully, we have written something that is useful to all stakeholders in all countries uh, without uh, creating problems to uh, existing um, frameworks. We believe that, as described in this paper, regulation is a function that will be better understood. And if better understood, it will, better, it will, it will be better implemented. Right. The Lisbon Charter describes the roles of governments, the roles of service providers, and the roles and the responsibilities of users. I think the impact will be in the mindset of people. Uh, they will better understand the respective roles of different stakeholders in the value chain of water services delivery, with two main impacts. One is on the role of regulators, those that contribute to regulation, but there is also another impact on, with the description, with more details, of the world of the other stakeholders. In particular, the Charter insists on the fact that water users have a responsibility in uh, securing uh, a satisfactory uh, work of the whole value chain.